Hey everybody, this is Zach with Bluebird Running Company, and I know it's been a while since I've posted anything onto our YouTube channel. I apologize for that. Uh, I've been running in some great shoes. Uh, I just haven't reviewed them or or shared them, uh, my reviews or what, my thoughts on the shoes. And right now, my my favorite go-to shoe is the Ultra Olympus Four, and I've been using that shoe for road and trail. Um, it's just it's great for both and just been loving it. So really nice, comfortable ride, nice uh, cushion and just so much room in that shoe too. It, it uh, runs a little bit longer than uh, other ultras and a little bit wider than other ultras. So it's just been great running in that shoe. So anyway, the reason I wanted to post a video today or the reason I am posting a video today is we just got a shipment, um, a box. And I think it's our first uh, Nathan order. So if you didn't already know, uh, we are gonna start carrying Nathan this year. And I think this is the box of uh, my first order uh, that I made. So I'm pretty excited to see what's in here. Um, so without further ado, let's see what's in here. All right. Oh yeah, I took off my mask, but I'm the only one in here right now. So whenever customers come in or if we get shipments, we always put on our masks. So uh, I don't want you to think that we're not here, that we are here without our masks on, but we are. Um, uh, and we're doing our best to keep everybody safe, including ourselves and our customers. So, all right, let's see. Yes, it's Nathan. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, okay. Let me take out my glasses. Uh, so, yeah, I was really excited about uh, about this. So. This is a, a black cat from Nathan, and uh, man, that was really cool. And I really wanted to, so this first uh, order that I did was a small order, and I wanted to concentrate on lighting because uh, we sometimes run in the dark at night, and you know, it's not too bad if you're out on the trails, you need to see where you're going, but you don't necessarily need to be seen, but if you're running out on the road or sidewalk, ditch banks here in Las Cruces, um, there's cars or bicycles or people Then you do want to be seen, especially with cars. So um, this is a black cap, um, but it's reflective. So it's called Hypernite. It's from their Hypernite collection. And uh, man, it has really cool details on it. Uh, there's a spaceship right there. And there's, uh, looks like it's beaming up something, but it's black but it has reflective uh, properties inside the cap. So you will be seen at night. You're not seeing the reflective right now because I'm surrounded by light. So that's really cool. Uh, excited about that one. All right, that's item number one. Oh, okay, this is a similar but different cap. Uh, this one's uh, also black. And this one has the Nathan logo on it. Uh, it has a little stash pocket right here. See that? Stash pocket so you could put things in there or something in there. I think that's kind of a cool idea. Uh, it's also on this side. There's a little opening there for you to, if you need to put something like maybe your car key or if you uh, have a, a ponytail or have something in your hair, you can take it out and stash it in there. Um, so this is nice because it has a nice floppy uh, brim right here so it makes it easy to pack and and take with you or if you can if you're running or doing an ultra and you want to pack it in your um, hydration pack or a waste pack then it's a lot easier to do that so this is also part of the hyper night series so great cap for running in the dark um, so this is a Terra Fire 300 R and um, I've run with flashlights before. Um, I do have a, head, a headlamp 
uh, that I use, but I do prefer running with something else. I don't particularly like having the headlamp on my head. Um, I do like the flashlight because then I can actually point it to where I'm going and to where to what I want to see and I have better control of over where the lights are just go. So I've always wanted one of these. So um, <laughs> I'll try not to take this one, but I got some another one, I think. So anyway, uh, this is now in the shop. And so uh, let me go back. So the why I think this is great, it has the ergonomic design so you can hold it a lot easier. And then it has this strap so you're not having to really concentrate as hard on holding it. You have a strap so you can kind of loosen your grip uh, while you're running, you know, like the way you're supposed to, like you're holding an uh, egg. So that's really cool. I'm excited about that. Let's see what else. Oh yeah. Got quite a bit of these, so I won't go over each one. Uh, but we did get safety lights. Uh, these are the Hyperbright RX strobe. And so what's great about these and the reason I chose these over the other ones is is that you can, these have a, a lithium, lithium ion battery. And so you can recharge it with the USB cable. So the other ones they have, um, or at least what I saw, you have to uh, replace the batteries. And it's probably like those little tiny ones. And for me, if uh, it comes down to having to replace batteries on, on something small, I'm usually gonna wait a long time or not do it at all, just cause it's kind of a hassle to find uh, like those small watch batteries um, or you have to go to stores that, anyway, it's kind of a hassle. So uh, these are less hassle. Um, they're better for the environment uh, because you're not replacing and throwing away batteries. Um, you're just recharging it. And I think that's really cool. So here's a yellow. Uh, red and blue. I think I, there should be some other ones in there as well. All right, uh, here's a runner's headlamp I got. This one's called the Neutron Fire. So this one does use batteries, but what's really cool is that it comes with batteries. And I think that's really cool, even though that's a small investment for the company, uh, because when you buy something like a headlamp and it requires batteries and you don't have batteries or the store doesn't sell batteries, then you find yourself having to go somewhere to, to buy batteries. So it's really nice that they included it here. So that's a Neutron Fire. See, be seen, run longer. All right. Um, this is the Neutron Fire Runner's Headlamp. And this one has five modes and three strobe colors. Um, and this one is in black. It says the, the three strobe color options are in red, green, and blue. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so you're not just always shining, like especially if you're on the road, you're not shining a white bright light. You're, you're uh, shining a different color, which makes it easier for cars to see you. And you're not blinding cars or other people. So, and this one also comes with batteries. Bam, what is this? Oh yeah. This, I was really excited about this. So if you remember, I don't like wearing headlamps, but I do sometimes. Uh, so this is a, a lamp or a light source that you can wear on your chest or on your waist. Now, if I could, I would wear something on my chest or waist. I think a waist is a, a really good idea. You know, that's only gonna light, light you from a certain distance. So you might wanna couple it with, with something else, or you might just like this alone. It might be enough for you. Uh, depending on the moonlight, but I got this so that uh, in case you don't want to wear a headlamp or carry a flashlight, this is this gives you the option to to wear it on your chest and or uh, around your waist. So it's kind of hand your hands free and it's not on your head and it's not bouncing around up there on your head, but it's just around your waist. And if you already have a waist belt on, um, then you know it can coincide with you know having that. So I thought this was really cool to try. Uh, there's another one of the USB lights in yellow. Okay. Now this one is um, a skull cap or a beanie. And this is another one. We haven't had beanies in here in a while. So this one is another one from the Hypernight series. So as you can see, it has the reflective properties all around it. It's black. And what's really cool about this one, I could feel it when I was turning it around, is that it has a nice fleece liner. And so what, what 
fleece is great for is for keeping you warm. Um, it's also good for absorbing the sweat. And when it ha with this outer material, it's gonna help you wick it while you want you <laughs> wick it while you run, uh, wick it while you run, so that your head's not just full of water or sweat. Um, so yeah, this is really nice design. Uh, it looks really cool. So if you're uh, running out there in the winter and your head's getting cold, um, this would be a good option for you. In, and if you're running at night. All right, and I think there's just two more things. And this is, oh yeah. So this I got, we're gonna test this out. Um, I really got this for Michelle to try this out. Um, this is their K9, from their K9 series. And this is a runner's waist belt and leash. So this is something that we really, um, we really want to wear test before we start carrying it in the store. Uh, we've had some people bring their dogs in, which is great as long as they're well behaved. Dogs are always welcome here. Uh, we have three trail dogs at home and we take them on the trails with us. Um, usually when it's an open trail and there's not anybody around or not many people around, we run with them off leash. Um, but they're all trained to run off leash. Uh, but sometimes we want to run with them uh, close to home or around the city or just uh, take them out wherever we are. So um, we have one dog, Bosch, who always has to be at the front of the pack no matter what and always has to like lunge and just uh, really just uh, try to toe the line and he just wants to be ahead of everybody. So we're constantly having to to rein them in but so this should um help with that it uh instead of you holding it in your hand when you're running or walking you just put it around your waist and then you clip the leash onto the dog and uh you're not pulling your arm out of your socket and and getting injured or being pulled down so it, it also um, works on your center center of, of gravity better so you have a better control uh over your loved pet so anyway excited to try that uh, Michelle, if you're watching, this is for you. Okay, and then the last thing, um, when I was at TRE, which is the running event in Austin, Texas, uh, late last year, I got a chance to visit the Nathan booth and I saw some of these products that you're seeing here, but, and I was really impressed with the whole line that they, they carry. And we'll be bringing stuff in throughout the year slowly because they have clothes and a, a lot of hydration packs. I do have a hydration pack right here that I'm gonna show you and they have some new ones coming uh, this year, I think, and some other uh, new things coming this year, which I'm really excited about. I think they're gonna be really great um, for running in the dark or for um, for taking your, um, your drinks and food with you or your clothing, extra clothing and uh, packing it into the um, hydration pack or backpack so I saw some really cool things but uh, to start off with I got one pack so we have one pack right now but we'll be adding more um, and this one is let's see this is the quick start four liter and so I didn't get uh, they have larger liter bags but I started out with this one uh, as you can see, it's black, which is a color like a lot of people like. Um, it has Nathan and gold going up there. Um, has a pocket in the front, which is nice. You can start, You can put your phone in there. Has this pocket in case you want to put gels or your keys or something else in there. Um, let's see. You open it up. It has a zipper. Uh, I really like this material. It's kind of like a, like a tent like a tent material. So if you're familiar with that, that's what it feels like. And then it has the, the bladder in there already, uh, which is their own, their own bladder. And it, it, it is attached, it is attached here to the bag so it doesn't slip down and it's held there with Velcro so you can detach it so that you can take this out, fill it, and then wash it periodically uh, like you'll want to do. But yeah, just, uh, not too much uh, liquid capacity in there. You know, you know, with us being with COVID and everything, you know, this is like, I think the right amount of liquid to carry with you in between eight stations, especially if you're running an ultra. Um, usually you're gonna have eight stations between four to eight miles, depending on the race and race director. Um, so um, this, I think there's a good mid-level uh, 
hydration pack for most people, including myself. So um, anyway, that's everything we got from uh, Nathan today. So come and check it out in the store. If you have any questions, uh, just, uh, you know, ask. Talk to you later.